fair celebrating local artists and the legacy of a local legend was held today. 13's Lane Gillespie has more on the Aaron Douglas Art Fair. Lane. Well, Victoria, Aaron Douglas was an artist from Topeka who addressed issues with race and segregation in the United States until his death in 1979. For the 18th year in a row, Douglas was honored in the fair at the park that bears his name. 18th annual Aaron Douglas Art Fair brought local artists and art lovers to the capital city Saturday. The fair is used as a way for artists to showcase their work and to honor the legacy of Aaron Douglas, a Topeka native and artist who created artwork that addressed social issues involving race and segregation. Um, every year we celebrate his legacy by giving a venue for new and emerging artists to show their work. We're by far the lowest price fair in the state. We don't care what color tent they have. We don't care if they've ever shown before. Um, we want all artists who want to have their work seen to be able to have a venue and a safe place to do so. Rogers was known as a major figure in the Harlem Renaissance. Those who organized the fair said they are honored to keep his legacy alive in the fair and at the park that bears his name. Just being able to be here and educate people. We have the mural, we have all of this background right here about Aaron Douglas, what he's done. Most people associate him in New York with the Harlem Renaissance. They don't realize he's from here. And just being able to be a part of this fair means so much to me, but also, yeah, to showcase the legacy that we have. The event also had a featured artist. This year's artist was Topekan Amy Allen, who used to attend the event. It's very cool to be the featured artist. This, uh, the Aaron Douglas Art Fair was the first art fair that I ever took part in, and that was in 2019. So five years later, to be the featured artist is amazing. I'm honored. <laughs> There was a little mistake in there. I meant Douglas, not Rogers, of course. Newscasters can make mistakes, too. Well, the event also had food, trucks, live music, and a kid's zone where children could create some art of their own. Victoria? All right, Lane, thanks for that. We'll sneak